weekend, the power of social media will bring a much larger flock to a beautiful but under-attended city church. We visited the parish as they prepare to be the target of the next Buffalo mass mob. Imagine a standing room only crowd at church on a day other than Christmas or Easter. The mission of Buffalo Mass Mob is to get people to come out from the suburbs and to visit the beautiful churches of the city. The reception has been huge. Uh, the first one we had about another 300 people came. The second one we had about another 400. Uh, the last one that we did at St. John Canty's brought in about 800 people. It's a play on the cash mob movement when people use social media to plan blitzes for small businesses and support local shop owners. And a one day can be a real shot in the arm for the collection basket. It also invites people to come back to the churches because now they're invested. They've been there before. But they're not just about getting people to go to church. Buffalo really was building churches during the best period you could build churches because Buffalo had money then between the 1880s and the 1920s. So we had great architects coming to the city, building immaculate churches. We had the best muralists coming here to decorate them. We had the best stained glass artists like Tiffany and Lafarge, Meyer of Munich, sending their windows to the city of Buffalo. These hidden gems that other cities would kill for, and we have them by the scores. Like the All Saints Church in Riverside, which features stained glass windows from the now closed St. Florian's Church on Hurdle Avenue. Now that his parish has been selected as the site of the next mass mob, Father Angelo Camara is overseeing the preparations. At first I, I was reluctant, but uh, after I learned a little bit more about it, I thought, you know, this would be a great way to show off our parish to many, many, many people that otherwise might not ever come here. There's room for six to 700 people in these pews, and if they're full on Sunday, that will be the biggest crowd this church has seen in years. I think it's a wonderful thing. I, I, I really do. I think it's a wonderful use of the, the social media uh, to, to evangelize, to bring people to the church, to, to, uh, uh, to give them a greater knowledge of the church. And I, I see this as a one, one way of doing it. I think it's terrific. Moving forward, the mass mob organizers would like to bring the crowds to parishes outside the city. But for now, it's all about All Saints. So one of the best experiences with St. John Cantys was hearing some of the older parishioners say, I never thought I'd live to see the day where the church was filled like this again. And we're hoping for the same thing here at All Saints.